All right, should we start? Sure. That's how we started. We've I mean, been talking. Yeah, but that wasn't like I wanted an introduction to the video. Okay, then do your intro. I'm trying to think of what I want to say. Hey guys, video. welcome back to another Eddie X video. My name is Kent Kentington. This is Matt, and that this wins. is your host, Eddie X. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe for more. And if you act now, we'll double the offer. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is the first time doing a video like this because earlier today we were up um, getting wheels and tires installed on my Audi and we were kind of arguing about certain things, or, or discussing certain things, which became kind of an argument. So we're like, hey, we should make a video of just kind of sitting around talking about things. It was fun. It was actually quite funny and amusing. <laughs> <laughs> that was cruel. Okay. So as background is, today we're going to talk about Shelby GT350s and... Should you buy one? That yeah, the, quest, the question here is, should Eddie get the GT350 as R. his... R. R, specifically, as his next car after his I8 lease is up? Correct. Uh, obviously, Matt has a... R. I have a R. Black 350R, mm -hmm. and I've got the GT350 track package. Um... So you guys are just biased. So no, no, let me. <laughs> well, let me. Well, that's let one me way to first, well, first, let me list the reasons. Delegitimize us. No, no. The, it's, that's an understatement. I work for the company, so I want them people to buy as many cars as possible. So yeah. yes, I am biased, and, I, and I, I love my car. I love the car too. So let me. So when the car first came out, I legit was like, "Holy crap, this is awesome!" I've always loved Mustangs. Had a Laguna Seca, so natural progression would be like a 350R mm -hmm. would make sense. Yeah. You were the first person I knew who bought one, I think. I was the first person to like knew well. Yeah. So I got to ride and drive yours, so it was awesome. It sounds amazing. Sounds Saw them at work. Tough. All right, so it Perfect. sounds amazing. Manual, rear-wheel drive, naturally aspirated. I love the way it looks, and it drives amazing. Sounds great. Sounds great, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, there are valid reasons why I want one. So why don't you want but one? But the reasons I don't necessarily want one are... Uh, potential reliability in terms of A, the car shaking itself to pieces, okay. B, the engine, because it's such a high-strung engine. I know of one guy who already has an engine replacement going in, is 350R. Mm -hmm. um, oil burning issues. Um, there's also cars that have like 30,000 miles on them. So it's 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 not really every car is going to blow up. I know, not every car is going to blow up. So yeah, uh, As long as it blows up within the warranty, you're okay. <laughs> I don't want it to blow up at all. Do okay. you want your car to blow up? No, 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 but the thing is, it's like, okay, yeah, there is, it is a very high-strung motor, and everything is incredible about the car. It's like a race car for the streets, you know? And, you know, there are some sacrifices you make with that, you yeah, know? It sure is Russian that. roulette when you buy that car. That's, that's I don't basically like the way what that, it is. So you just take all the VIN numbers and just, like, spin a dice? Yeah, like well, it. I've heard that some... Engineers that build the en uh, the engines, like there are some good engineers that you want to build your engines, like oh, that sign them, and I then there are bad ones. So you just that, you but... just check which one first. Oh, go on the forums, ask yeah. the guys. Um, I don't think I'd want to buy a used one though. That's I, the, I wouldn't. the other thing too. No, nah, I wouldn't. The whole thing of either again, it's going to be cheaper, but it's not going to work. I don't fit there. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> Nick. I gotta go outside for a second. Oh. The, the used car is going to be cheaper, but not that much cheaper though for an R. They haven't really depreciated. Yeah, but again, you, you're going to get a car that you don't know how many of those miles have been beaten to death. That's true. It's like buying an old an M car. You know those people beaten on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or an Audi RS version of something. You know they're going to beat. Yeah, it. I mean it gets driven hard. Yeah. It. Or or even an ST or an RS. You know that the guy driving it, like, is going to beat the ever loving snot out of the car like it's intended to be. But well, I guess. Like, yeah. So, okay. But the thing is, if I want a new one, my favorite spec is still Grabber Blue, no stripes R. Right. Yeah, that's beautiful. There are still some cars... But I can't that order that new. There are still some cars at the dealer that haven't been picked up yet that are Grabber Blue R, so you just gotta find one. That's very true. And not only that, is if you're gonna get... Um, you're obviously gonna get a clear bra on it. Why not just wrap it in Grabber Blue? See, the issue with that is... It never looks as good. It's the rare, the rare factor. He wants a car that's... Like, if you buy a car with stripes, are you going to take the stripes off? No. I wouldn't. No. Yeah, because it's the way it comes from the factory. You kind of want to leave it that right. way. Yeah. No, if you're going to take the stripes off, I'd rather paint the stripes on because the vinyl is not really the best quality the they, vinyl. They don't even wrap it over the edge. It I just kind of ends like a couple millimeters again, before that's, the... That's just what they do. And also, they're overpriced. Remember back when my, my Laguna Seca, the 302 stripes were like... Too much. 
2,400 for the set or something like that. Oh, maybe it wasn't that much. I think much. they were 500 for the kit. Wasn't that? It's, I thought it was from the way dealer, more. Bucks the whole stuff. kit. No, the stripes. To buy no, the stripes. I, no. The oh, for no, the no, no. Shelby? Like, nope. when you buy the stripes. Nope. It costs $700 for me to get the stripes in blue just for my hood. Like, to buy them from the dealer. Yeah. I'm from, talking yeah. like, oh, you're Park. talking after Ford parts. Yeah, not option. Oh, not like, the option. Okay. I'm saying... Ford parts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. option at the fa- to when you're specking the car is like 495 dollars paying for, for the, the labor for them to put it on, right? Or is that... No, 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 this no. is this is just price on okay. their website. Yeah. It's like 700 bucks, And it's ridiculous. You know? Just for um, two strips of vinyl? Yeah. You yeah. Know, Ford is really weird about their OEM parts for their performance cars. Mm-hmm. The RS, one wheel of the 19-inch Ford. <laughs> you know. <laughs> two grand. Yeah. Two grand yeah. for one wheel. Yeah. I just got a set of HREs for that amount on my car. You want, you want that's like, the amount of money you spent on your wheels is a, a half of what I would spend on one R rim. Oh, yeah. Well, because you get the carbon. Fl- There's another reason. If I bought an R, I would immediately probably get a set of forged wheels and different tires because it comes with cup twos, which are, I w- those are wasted if you're not on the track. Carbon fiber wheels, I do not want to crack those because mm-hmm. our roads suck. Mm-hmm. There is somebody, Forge nine, nine, oh, B94, so there's some company who makes like replica Forge. The v- same, vibe vibe more, Motorsports. The same, it's the same design as mm-hmm. the carbon R wheels, which look cool. So. They, use, they made Project 6GRs, which are the, flow, the flow formed ones. That's They're not forged. They're just spun. Yeah. Yeah. There is a company, Vibe Motorsports, on the forums that is building a one-to-one scale aluminum forged mm. seven-spoke R-rim okay. that is the same weight. Oh, really? Or close, within like two pounds. Well, wow. they're probably going to okay. be like almost two grand a wheel, though. Probably. Yeah. Maybe 1500 a wheel, 1500 like Forge line. Wheel. Yeah, full Forge wheels are expensive. Mm-hmm. But Ford did extensive testing with it, and... From what I was told when I bought the car, that the guy who did the curb impacts that we do at mm-hmm, 45 mm-hmm. miles an hour, mm-hmm. he had to do it twice because the Magna Ride was so good in the car that he didn't think he did it correctly the first time. Oh, really? Time. And it didn't crack the rim. Interesting. They've wow. been they've been built correctly. I mean, you are going to scuff a rim, maybe. The thing is, you can't refinish that wheel. Once, no, once it's once gone, it's, it's, it's done, done. You, you yeah. know, it's tiniest crack. Right, then it's you done. just buy a wheel and tire. Uh, they they're not allowed to. Oh, they, they don't have it on there? No. Not on, not on carbon R wheels. They're not, so. not going to you know, lose their ass if you crash. Yeah, you know, that'd be true. bad. If you it's hit true. a rim, it's it's four grand for a rim. They're not going to pay that out. It's, do not think they would do that. No, but... At the, yeah. So it's also like... What's what's that car equivalent to by feel? Because you've driven a GT3 RS, right? Yeah. That car is obviously more. Yeah. Better, but is that I, close? I've said it many times before. I have... As much fun in a 350R as it would. Uh, how do I phrase it? It would take something in the range of a McLaren 650S, 458, mm-hmm. something in the true like deep six-figure supercar range and above to beat the feel of the 350R. I so that's the thing with me. That's my big, um, I guess, positive. Positive about the 350 is that. It's the feel. It's it's the passion behind that car. It's is and it's that's something that you've been looking for. And he sees that when he when he sees myself or, or Matt drive our car. Yeah. We're, we never want to sell our cars, and that's how it that's is. True. Yeah, Both you guys so, like so very vehement about not selling the car. We, we never want to. And I know from talking to Eddie that he wants that connection with a car. Yeah, he wants that love. That you passion. also want to be one of the very few people in in the group of people that you know that has a car. The exclusivity like that. is that's someone exclusivity of That's the true. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to buy a GT3 RS because John has one. Right. I'm not yeah. going to buy or a Ventador because you know, I can't afford one. But. Well, again, <laughs> what I'm saying, going back to my previous one, was the feel of the car is lower in pricing than, like, say, a GT3 RS. Like, you can pay that car with an ADM. Like, that's another thing, obviously, you're not going to like about the thing is that I'm not I guarantee you no. that if you are planning to buy one, Unless you know somebody, you're going to have to pay some form of markup. But then we just talked earlier about a GT3. You'd pay a markup on a GT3, and but you won't pay a markup two? on a GT, GT350R. When in my video, you did say that you'd pay up to $80,000. Oh, there's proof. There's proof. Go check so out the video. So you say 80 is the top echelon, which is what yeah, I Yeah, but I don't want to pay that company. much. No. If I get it for sticker, I'd buy it. I think. 10K is the most I would spend, which oh, is what I, I did. never spend. But the thing is, inevitably, they will drop. Inevitably, no matter... The GT3 RS, when it came out, 
I know people who spent thirty to forty grand over a sticker. Right now, you can get them for right at sticker. Sure, with a little. Pissed. Yeah, but it just—it's the way it always yeah. works. Every well, almost when most the, when the five hundred comes out, you're going to expect you know GT five hundred. It's going to be thirty to forty over sticker mm-hmm. in California. How much you got? What did you, did you pay ADM on yours? You yeah, I paid only three over for mine. Three over. Yeah, you that well, you had to hook up with yeah. the dealership you're yeah. working. At. No, no, I got I was negotiated it. No, I ne- I was working at the dealer at the time, and I negotiated a deal with another dealer in Texas. Oh, you both got your cars in Texas. Yeah, yeah that's the place to get them. Yeah, I mean, well, well, I just po- showed you the one that was the lightning blue with black stripes. I don't like lightning blue though. Yeah. I never yeah. said that. I'm just saying that's one for five over. Yeah, that's if I were to order one, I don't. I also don't know if I would go orange fury, or Kona blue no uh, Kona blue white stripes, orange fury no stripes, or white with blue stripes. I get it. Our I would, I would do, I would do Kona blue white stripes because that is exactly. If I were to get another GT350, that's exactly how I would do mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's. I, I don't know if I, I could decide. I never wanted another color other than black. It's yeah, because it just looks so aggressive and mean. It's. I do, I, it I really love good. the ruby red in seventeen. They got. I think is it still around? I think it's uh, in eighteen. I don't think ruby. I think it's race red is only red now. Okay, so I'm ruby sure. red in seventeen. I thought about that color. And I thought about lightning blue with black stripes. But I don't like I wanted... lightning. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the lightning I blue I like the either. metallic blue, like the shiny blue. I like yeah. that. I never thought of grabber blue. I wasn't a big baby blue. Grabber blue, no just, stripes. Oh. It just feels, it just, I'm a baby blue. I'm not a baby blue fan. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know. I think the classic GT350, as we were, we were talking yeah. about this earlier, is the classic GT350 is the smaller wing, the... What twelve spoke wheels, white, blue stripes. Your the spec. R exactly. The, it's my yeah. spec. Mustang. The classic Mustang. Yeah. The R is something a little bit different. You got to go aggressive. You got to do either a bright. I'd say obviously the the blue, the, mm-hmm. the grabber, grabber blue, blue yeah. or the orange fury. Or if you're not going to go a bright, vibrant color, kind of exotic, you should go on the other end of the spectrum, which is super aggressive and mean. So I think the darker cone of blue with the white stripe is like. Perfect, and you still have that really cool red, white, and blue contrast. Yeah, I, I think I think that that's is so a good cool. point with the red America. badges. Yeah, yeah, America. Because because Orange Fury with the red badges looks silly. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't know. I, I like it. I think I, it's fine. I, it just clashes for me. I don't know. It just the red, white, and blue scheme definitely fits. Either if it's white with blue stripes or blue with white stripes. That's right. Because you get that red trim pinstripe. Mm-hmm. And like people keep. I just had like. Three people ask me today what I'm getting after the i8, and I like I keep telling them, no idea, no me idea. And you, me and you have talks about it, and you just you don't know, Eddie. No, I don't know. Eddie, I think you already know what you're gonna get. You're just you're just afraid to admit it. Be- I'm afraid you're in to denial. admit that I'm gonna be an irresponsible individual and buy a no, McLaren. And- Okay, <laughs> McLaren. I'm gonna be extremely <laughs> irresponsible. And go buy a 570s or 1250. But the thing is, for so much less, you're gonna have as much fun. Doors. There's nothing. There's the nothing. Doors. Wait, 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 wait. You just <laughs> went, you just deflected. Uh, yeah. There's deflect. not. You're gonna have as much fun with an eighty thousand dollars. I was speaking the truth. That's why he deflected. Right, exactly. Then you are with the twelve. And it is. It is way. Honestly. It it is way more responsible. This is the responsible thing to do. The responsible thing is not to spend an no 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 the responsible not even just keeping the S four. That's not responsible to you because it's your happiness. That's that has a price. You don't want to do the mundane drive to work every day in my black Audi like everybody else. Hey. No, you got to t- <laughs> you got to put HREs on. You got to put HRE in a different color. It painted a different color uh, to come soon. Um, and <laughs> yeah, we know what color it is, but we're not telling. Yeah, you yeah. Told us not I've to. mentioned it a couple times in videos. People, some people probably know. It's pink. <laughs> it's not pink. Okay, it's not pink. I can promise you it's not that color. Oh, I should grab the grill. I'll show you the grill. I thought you left something in the oven. No, I <laughs> no but seriously, it's at the price point that the GT350R is, you're yeah. going to have as much fun and be, like we said, responsible. Thing is, you're not going to gonna regret that car. No, you're, you're not. There's no way you can regret that car. Yeah, I can see you regretting the ball. Bo- oh, wow. That is really cool. I like that. So that's going on the Audi. That's the front grill. Which shall look cool. Although you lie, it's not an RS. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off. I'm just gonna completely debadge the front. I had one guy cool. complain at me about why people try to pretend like they have RS fours. First of all, the V eight point five RS four never came here, and second of all, this girl just looks cool. So ha. It does look really cool. Try it. 
trying to take it off without breaking anything. But off. I guess I later. guess the ultimate thing would be is that you only have driven how many? You drove Kent's car. You're driving Kent's car when you go back to Car Week, right? Nope. No. Nope. What are you no. driving? Nope. Instead? I've upgraded to an RAV10 Plus for Car Week. Thanks, Matt. Still think of other Matt. is more fun. But you're gonna. It drive, is. You're gonna. No, drive, you're right. You're you once right. he. Yeah. It actually kind of shocked me. He once said, "Out of all the cars, you would." Choose we the 350 to take really on a canyon run. Oh, yeah. You oh, would take it over the, a Scuderia 458 or whatever. Yeah, no, that's the thing. And here's the thing. My brother just got the Audi R8 V10 Plus, and it is the perfect car. There is nothing wrong with that car, but it lacks one thing, and that's the most important thing to me, and that's the connection you have to it. The, the feeling of, like, like, it's hard to explain. Yeah, it's, it's the inta- character. It's intangible. It's, it's mm-hmm. the character that you find behind certain cars, and that's why people love like Miatas. Mm-hmm. People love that car. I don't understand that. I guess I'm buying a Miata. One, but... Well, you have an autocross one. I'm buying that, a that's Miata. That's true. They're they're a lot of no, you're not. I'm buying a Miata. You can't. You will not be able to live with yourself. With <laughs> I'm Miata. buying a Miata. No, you're not. I had one for a week. We can take I, a bet right now. I had now one for a week when I thought to Seiko. It was a press car. It was, it was fun. It was fun. You won't. You won't be able to live with one. You want to LS fit swap it. it, or you want to do something with it? Put a, put a Shelby motor in a Miata. That, <laughs> that won't fit. It would just explode. Coyote would fit, but not. I don't know if a Coyote would fit. Those are pretty big. LS is fit in those. LS is fit. Oh, that's true. Yeah, people LS swap yeah. them all the time. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just saying. Like Shelby. Even Shelby. when you com- c- compare a perfect German car to it, the Audi R8 V10 Plus is the quintessential perfect supercar. Daily car. with luxury. Da- it's dailyable. It's it's fast. It's luxurious, it's comfortable, yeah, yeah. but I'd rather drive the Shelby. And as crazy as that sound that sounds to like all the kids also at the home, thing, like, oh, I'd get, rather an R8, but... Do you get more looks with the Shelby, or do you get it in any other car? Uh, did get a ton of looks at Car Week last year. In the Shelby? Down Ocean Ave- yeah. I had more, more, shit, more so than around. Ferraris. I that's yeah, well, in my R, I get so many looks, too, because you don't see them. Mm-hmm. I mean, they yeah. are out there, there are There's people that have I mean, them, we know... Three or four, three people, or four people to have them, but yeah. you you it, you don't see it on a day like I daily did in the summer, and people were like posting pic like who is this? Oh my god, where is that? So it's you also get that in McLaren, or a, yeah, or but for again, like triple gonna, the price. Yeah, but I don't know. I like also car exotic also cars. if you have to replace the rim on a McLaren, how much does that cost? I don't know. Well, buy an Probably HR. about as much but as an HRE rim. to buy. <laughs> You're not replacing McLaren rims with HRE rims. Are you kidding me? Come on, I will do that. It looks sick. I love HREs now. Now you do. Cause yeah, because I have them now. Because you, you were, they look good. You got They're them. lighter. They're a ton lighter. You saw Hugo balancing that thing. They're great. It's not how light they are when you balance them. It's just that they're brand spanking new. No, it's fine. It's great. It's a brilliant wheel. I love it. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm going to all buy HREs now. Gonna... No, they're cool. I... I honestly think you can't go wrong if you get a 350. Yes, there are reliability R. issues, but yeah. the thing is, is that I've already had a bad experience of Mustang with owning a Mustang. Yeah, but that that's not going to happen with that's the 350. That's before the Renaissance era of uh, of cars. The motor, the motors, the, the motor's better than the Laguna because it revs higher. Oh, the motor! Oh, from a reliability standpoint, the Laguna Sega motor was perfect. Yeah, but, but the that thing is, is that the mo- the motor is better, I believe. For an overall experience mm-hmm. in the 350, mm-hmm. the Trans is a lot better. monumentally better than your Laguna. Screw because whoever, that was the reason. whichever engineer at Ford was in charge of putting the MT82. <laughs> I hope I'm going to say a lot of mean things right now. I'm not going to say them. You shouldn't. I you hope shouldn't. you never are able to yawn. Like you always constantly have to yawn, like it goes away <laughs> for the rest of your life. Because I'm mad. They've at that made person. improvements to it since your car. It's a different car. Yeah. It's completely different. It is. Yeah, I know that. I, mean, I also, drove. Yours different. felt like a. Boat when I drive it compared to the 350. I'm, I'm being serious. It was so different. It's also different. the chassis, too. Mm-hmm. That's true. The, the, the no IRS. Or, it's, it's just... Yeah, the that didn't reaction. have IRS, did it? No, it's a live no, it was, Yeah, it's all Yeah, you know, it's it's the next generation of the Mustang, and it's... It's also the best-looking Mustang. It is. Hands it is. down. Yep. I wonder... It's also when the, the older, the older body style still. I it's not the newer one. one. Yeah, which I don't the, like the newer the one. The 14 GT500 in... Deep tap, uh, 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 what is it? Deep uh, impact blue. Impact blue. With white stripes? With white stripes. Mm-hmm. That was my poster car. So, yeah. like, I still think that could compete. Well, what was your dream car? Was a 13 GT with a manual? Deep, blue? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, deep so, impact like, blue. So, like, then you escalated, now escalated like again. Yeah. That probably would be a responsible thing to do. 
I mean, and and it's not like I, I'm here. All right, fine. If I can get one for sticker, I will strongly consider purchasing it. Don, it's got to be sticker price though. Strongly consider. Yes, I, I like leaving myself loopholes. I'm 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 afraid of commitment. I'm still running away from commitment. <laughs> yeah. Now your biggest issue is finding one that's sticker. Given another, you don't think that once the GT500 launches and about another, because it's steadily falling. How many, like you just, how many people are going to buy a 500? I don't know. It depends More on the people are going to want the, the 500 than want the 350. Most people can't get a 500 because they're making a limited amount of them. Are they? So what are they going to do? You better not, you better not like, get in trouble. I'm not getting in trouble. I didn't tell you how many there. It's a <laughs> limited run. Every car, every Shelby's a limited run. Well, by that, uh, technically, by that reasoning, every single car in the world is a limited run. There's a limited number of Toyota Camrys that are made, being built for each model year. They only made 500 year. R's in 16. 000. They Did only they? made 1,000 in 17, roughly. This okay. is rough numbers. They made only around 400 this year. Okay. So I don't know how many they're making for 19, because they have officially announced that they are continuing it into 19. Did they continue? Yeah. Or did they officially announce 350 well, they said 2019 350 is out still, because they've mm. delayed 500 a year. Mm. Where's my allocation to the dealer? I still have one, but at 5 to 10 over sticker. Even for the 19, for yeah. that other dealer? They yeah, still... because they're selling them for 5 Even to 10. Even for a YouTube sensation? Not you guys, too. Freaking John and Hazefa and Mobin won't shut up about that. No, they called him I don't Big Baller any, Eddie. I don't have Big any... Big Baller problems. Eddie. No, we're not talking... I'm going to edit this out of the video. I would be, No, no. No, I don't It's know. better than the other thing he called it, which we won't say. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but on, honestly, I, I believe that the way that that car is still trending two and a half, three years later, since when it was unveiled, it's still there. Uh, a normal 350 Kent's car, you can get it sticker. You can get it for a below sticker, sticker now. Some, some I've dealers seen some will get below it for sticker. under sticker. Yeah. Yet, I'm still happy with what I paid at the right. time. At the time, when I bought my car, I was perfectly happy spending 10 over sticker because yeah. I had waited two years since I ordered it, it and it was worth, worth it. it. Yeah. It, it just... That's the biggest hang-up because originally I was, I was like you. I would not buy it other than at sticker. And then I realized that that was... The biggest thing with your difference than me is that that was the only car I wanted. That's true. I've got... You uh, have... Not there's really. Only, there's a very small number I've of I've narrowed it down, though. I've kind of ruled out F-Type R, ruled out the ZL1 1LE. Um, R8, I've kind of pushed that one away. So it's pretty much either buy a 350R or wait until I can reasonably buy a McLaren. Well, here's but, the thing. Can you wait? No. Exactly. So that answers <laughs> I don't think the I can. I've already again. started to get nervous about not having like the I eight as my like that answers sports the car thing again. Without yeah. answering actually the question that you're probably going to find a three. You need to. You need to either and and you're not going to consider leasing another car, correct? Mm -mm. I no. want to buy the next sports car. So, what's a car that's going to hold its value really well mm -hmm. that is in this price range and has the fun factor that you're looking for? The R Cayman GT four. That's a hundred grand. That's in the price range. Is it? We'll do rounding like some people round up. You know? That's a big round up. 20K? No, no 40K. No, they are. They're not that much. You can get it for below 100 now. Came with GT4? Fully loaded? Yeah, oh, not, not, a, not a... Moderately not optioned. A, moderately mm -hmm. optioned? What's moderately well, optioned? Okay, with, okay. with one seatbelt? Here's, here's <laughs> a... Porsche here's, options. Yeah. yeah. Here's, belts. here's another thing. Cool. Is GT4 falls under the M car category, the RS car category, as well as... Why the, would you buy a GT4 when you could buy a GT3 or a GT3 RS? The issue is, uh, who, who knows if they beat it on the track? <laughs> yeah, but... You can check engine over revs and stuff like that on, on the Porsche ECUs and blah, 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 all that stuff. I'm just saying, it's going to be difficult to find someone that didn't beat on it. Plus, those are about to tank if the rumors are true that there's a GT4 uh, 4 liter. With the 4 coming liter out. coming out, yeah. Or in a GT4 RS. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard that one. I've, I've heard, heard that. D-Tune 4 liters coming to it. I've heard the GT4 RS is possible. Okay. Which means that that car is going to be worth seventy they're grand. Always going to make the GT4 or the Cayman slower than the 911, though. They're going to always force it down. Of course. Well, what about the GT4 RS? They could make that as fast as the 911, no problem. It's faster than the GT4. Well, will it would they be let it? Than a 911. Will they let it? I yeah, know. I think if it has the RS badge, they will. All right. It won't be faster than a GT3 RS. No, no, that's the thing. It has to be slower. But it than would that. be, uh, but it, but it would be, be faster than a base 911. G it could be faster than the base GT3. Even it could, because yeah. it is the RS. Yep, exactly. But still, I think that reasonably speaking, 
a responsible, which is sad to say, because the 350R is, <laughs> you know, it's not as not necessarily a responsible as you think, but yeah. a McLaren's worse, mm-hmm. a Porsche's worse. It's also that character, because I'll let you, I feel you know, about we, we talked about, <laughs> you need to stop that. <laughs> uh, so in case you didn't know, I, I don't work at Ford anymore, I resigned from my job, and now you feel weird. <laughs> About four. I don't know. It's like yeah, but I don't know. It's I'm te- like... I'm telling you, when we when I drive your i8 and you drive my car for a weekend, because yeah. he's gonna be asleep at the wheel and you're gonna be having the time of your life. Exactly. Okay. Well, I'm gonna okay. be like, I can't hear anything. What is this? You can't. Well, no. And you're gonna be sense. like taking the your... speakers. Wait, did you just say the speakers make the sound? In the i8, yeah. Oh. <laughs> People don't Shut brag up. about that. Shut up! I wasn't bragging. I was stating it, and it's a fact. I I honestly think it might mm. tip the scales for you. I've been telling you that for months. Yeah, he has been constantly. I like, think that's going to take every other day. Like, after you got out of my car, after car week, you're like, I'm buying one, I'm buying one, I'm buying one. Yeah. And then he thinks about it and goes, eh, I don't want one. Eh. Yeah, because I can't think of, I don't know. Yeah, see, that's that's the issue. He, he, Sometimes he you likes, just got to jump in. I figured it out. He likes the ability to, I want this and I want that, and I can get this and I can get that. When you get a car... It, you it goes away. You aren't, you aren't yeah, that that's true. Anymore. Your option goes away. When you had the i8, you didn't want anything else because you had the i8. Now the i8's going away. You're getting nervous again, and now it's this. You like this where you can have these discussions with people. Which is fun. Brings yeah. up good points of where me and Kent corner you like we're doing now and saying, you need a you better buy one. <laughs> you better so get it. They're going to hurt you. They've been yelling at me all day about GT350R. It's... All right, what about flip around this argument? You own the GT350, you own an R. Mm-hmm. I personally only really, really want the R. Mm-hmm. Should I even entertain getting a just a regular GT350 track pack? Value standpoint, no, not, you, can not one, you. you can get not one for, for like you. 50 no, not for you. You're a different person. See, I'm okay with... I, I, I don't really care if somebody else has the same car as me or I see another one out there. Yeah, I don't like you that. are very. You need to have the top of the line, the most exclusive. That's how you are. And with me, it was, I drove the R first. You see, I've driven both of them, too. At APG, because I worked for Ford. And I loved it. It had no radio. It was 90 90 degrees outside, Uh all black R, and I drove the shit out of that car. And I loved it. And then I came home, and I had had the ability to take an M-plate Mustang Mm -hmm. at 5 liter. And Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there going, I'm not going to be able to live with myself. Yeah. Because I know that that car, literally I got in that car and I drove it for two laps. And I'm like, I made a huge mistake because now I want one. Yeah, see, that's why I don't want to drive your R. Mm-hmm. Because I'm scared that I'm going to be like, okay. It sounds better. It, I, the I, resonator delete actually is a, I think it sounds better. I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to swap my resonator out for an X-pipe. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, without the, yeah. Uh, I'd be careful because some people have done exhaust like, Full, if they they make matters and stuff, and boreless but they ma- ends up making it sound like just a loud five zero, like a loud coyote, which yeah. I don't like because it, it gets rid of like the rasp and the harsh sound of the three fifty, which is so special. Well, no, it's just an X pipe right where the resonator was. Yeah, that should be okay. But I said yeah. don't go too much in the it, exhaust. It's just a cut out, and then you just mount the new one. It's yeah. The three fifty the 350 is three fifty R slash three fifty is one of the only cars in the one of the few cars that I would leave stock exhaust wise. Oh, it's perfect. There's it's nothing deep. wrong with it. 350R, Jag F-Type R, Vanquish. I can't think of many other cars where I would not want to touch the exhaust. Um, Can you think of any? What, what, is there another car that you wouldn't mess with? The Scuderia. The only thing I would do is leave don't the valves open. A, don't you have a Novatec exhaust on that? No. No, that's, no, that's stock. stock. Yeah. No, yeah, but have you heard one with like an F1 in, in a tech or but, IPE? But the thing they is, scream. when the when the valve is open all the time, it's like, it just sits there just... Bah. So, would you, would you change and it's really, so? it's really annoying in the so cabin. What I, so I, yeah, that, that's the and way John's really cool. car was. It's really it? cool yeah. when you're when you're driving, you're and it's climbing in the RPM. The valve opens. I hate Bob! that. I hate that <laughs> because I was driving my friend's four five eight. We're going to downtown Birmingham for dinner, and we're just like regular speed. So I was right at the rev range where the valves open and close at like thirty miles an hour. So I'd like, it'd be like, so, ah, 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 ah. I'm just like, stop! <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not in sport mode in the three fifty R, you get that too. Oh, do you? At I just always exhaust those loud. Thirty four hundred. Yeah, it's where it goes. I hate that. Really? I hate that. Valves open really? at all times. Not time. on mine. If you're revving. Oh, if you rev. Yeah, see, I... I you can in, hear them open. In normal mode, they slowly open on my car. Mm-hmm. But uh, 
when I'm in normal mode, I'm not usually not giving it enough gas to the point where well, they would open all the way. And again, you're you're right that I always have it on sport mode unless it's yours the same, toggle. Same with I have the toggle. Yeah. So yours is the old. No, even if you don't get electronics back, you have to go through the steering you wheel. You can button. go yeah. through the steering wheel, That's but fine. the toggle is so much cooler. Unless you just switch yeah. to sport mode in the menu. Okay. Mm-hmm. Man, right. you guys, hanging out with you always makes me want a 350R. You just have to drive it, and then, I mean, what other car are you going to buy for 60 grand they're going to have that much fun with? Well, it's not 60 grand, it's 75 with Marco. 80 with Marco. Oh, I thought we were just saying, oh, Five grand so over. you're going to entertain Marco Five now. Gra- now. Now you're entertaining no, Marco? No, okay, no. It's 75 uh, uh, grand with sales tax, there. Cornered! 70 grand, cornered. 70 grand times 1.06 puts me at 74, 2000, 74 200. What else are you going to buy for that? Tell me, give me a car. You like an RS7, but Carrera, that's way too Carrera, expensive. 991 Carrera S. New one? Oh, you're going to no, buy a Carrera S instead of the Shelby. I could, it'd be a great all You're going to be like, R, John's going to come up on you. Oh, shoot, shoot I didn't come think about you, that. No, I can't just get that. Piss John, all over you. John will never let me hear the end of it. John. Never mind. You bought a base Carrera? <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. I was going to get my out. wife that car. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yes, John would do that. Okay, nope. No 911. Um, I thought of an uh, R8, I get a gated manual R8 V8. Nick, doesn't your your roommate have one? He is, no, he's a V10. That's a V10 manual. So he's getting, but, you're going to have a V8? But it's not a V8. It's, it's uh, a V8, not a V10. I, no. Yeah, see, you can't do that, because you you're just going to be like, what am I doing? Like, why didn't I get the V8? Why didn't I wait any long? Why didn't I just buy a Shelby? That's what you're going to be saying. If I'm going to have a V8, it better be a Shelby. I could sell the S4, not buy that, and go buy an S63 Coupe. Uh, so you're going to drive that in the snow in the and snow. get it all rusty and... Uh, oh, so what's your yeah. winner going to be then? A 63 Coupe. It's all-wheel drive, 4 Yeah. You're not driving that in the winter. Why not? There's no way. No way. Fine. All right. I've been sufficiently convinced. How long have we been talking the, for? The funny We've been thing... For this has been half an hour. I don't yeah, know how long... This, is, this the, is a good video. Yeah, the fun And you can be a 3 This is a, This is a podcast video. Essentially, yeah. yeah. No, and, and that's what that you, you, what you need. Uh, this is what you want to do. Yeah, we're gonna we're trying this out. I think we should wrap it up because we've been rambling for a while. This is so... This was kind of... We literally decided to do this, so kind of just came home, cleaned up the area. We're in my living room, set up the cars and the camera. And I want to do this yeah. at... Uh, a friend has a warehouse... Film it there and, and have the cars, cars behind. That'd be cool. That'd, That'd be, be really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, but but for the record, we started this video. This, this he did not have a decision made up. We literally just said we're gonna sit down. I still don't have a decision made gonna, up. You, but you, you look a lot closer. You literally said I'm thoroughly convinced. Just about what a minute ago. Yeah. I don't know. You you not, not there's no that. evidence. It's, it's on the. <laughs> there's no evidence. See the problem, Kent, is he edits the video, so you can literally just cut the part <laughs> out gonna, where he goes. I'm just gonna cut your words off and just change some, things. Some, some back in the work. I hate Shelby GT 350s. <laughs> I'm gonna give Eddie mine for free. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> that video will reflect otherwise. Yeah. Right. But yeah, I, I, going back, I, I really, we have to wrap it up, like you said, but. We'll, we'll continue you, discussions about you, this. You won't be, you won't be disappointed at all. Hmm. Quit my job at Ford Performance and then go buy a Ford Performance product. They're going to like know it's me and be angry and like give me the car all back. Everything's going to be backwards. The wiring harness is going to be just unplugged. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me that Ford Performance has anything to do with that car when it's in flat rock at all? That's true. Probably not. So that again is debunked. Where they yeah. they have a problem with you because you went to another company. It's uh, a free country. It's not like you know another know. country where you leave and they're like, well now he's on the banned list. <laughs> he's got a wanted poster. We can never let him back ever. No, no. All right, well, this was fun. Yep. Yes. It Thank was. you. Thanks to you two for they came along with me and helped get my uh, new wheels installed on the Audi, which I am super excited about because they look amazing and I love them. You um, need a pickup truck so you can carry all the wheels and tires I, yourself. I'm not buying. I almost bought a Raptor because I got so sick of our roads. I thought I was going to break my S4 to pieces. Uh, next time we're going to be talking about Eddie. On, should Eddie buy a Raptor? Should Eddie buy a Raptor? Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.